So in the recent Vanity Fair Star Wars article, Solo, A Star Wars Story got a mention. The 2018 movie Solo explored Han Solo's younger years with Alden and Rican. <laughs> I still have no idea how to say this guy's name. Taking on the role of the smuggler originated by Harrison Ford. The film has its admirers, but it made less at the box office than any other live action Star Wars movie. Solo swagger may be too singular for another actor to replicate. And then Kathleen Kennedy said this, there should be moments along the way when you learn things. Now, it does seem so abundantly clear that we can't do that. <laughs> Okay, so they're basically saying they have regrets about making Solo with different actors playing Han Solo, Lando perhaps. I get where they're coming from, but seriously, I don't mind the new actors. I thought Solo was a good movie. Honestly, it's pretty underrated. Much better than The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> Overall, the acting was great, and even though it was hard to see Harrison Ford played by someone else, I think it worked in its own way. What do you prefer, having new actors play older characters or deepfake Luke? What's your preference? <laughs> I've just been thinking about this. Take a look at Ewan McGregor playing a young Alec Guinness. That works perfectly. He embodies the character, he makes it his own, and I feel like new films can do the same thing. I don't think we need to be deepfaking everything. 